this and could not be the, the pain away. This know? could be the bloopers to the bloopers. Dwayne Johnson, if you wanna get out of this shot, because then he's not gonna promote us. My boy. <laughs> we look alike. Dwayne Johnson. Oh, hold on. I got this. Please, we uh, we appreciate that. <laughs> This will be the bloopers, a toast right here, podcast, we're going. This is the second part of the Q&A because we thought the first Q&A was amazing. So here we are, We're the most bitches. organic, most authentic podcast once again, sitting with the favorite favorites of the team right here because their videos go viral on TikTok, not even mine, but theirs do. I think Cindy's at 90, shit, what, which one? on TikTok. Oh, on TikTok? The one yeah. where you're showing your ass, Cindy. Clickbait, <laughs> clickbait. <laughs> Clickbait, showing, I'm just kidding. But, you know, I want to always give a, uh, be appreciative of all the followers, the subscribers, uh, people that tune in and don't follow. It's still got to be appreciative of you guys. So a toast to everybody, the team, to another Q&A right now. Cheers. Let's do it, boom. <sighs> Termana, The Rock, his team, oh. send some our That's way, man. Our favorite tequila... For the podcast. Ooh. Ya no me den. Ya no le den, ya no le den. She's cut off. So, let's jump right into it. Q&A. First question is, let's see how we do this. Mm -hmm. Since Valentine's Day is coming up. I'm out. Someone. (laughs) (laughs) What? Some. Do you guys feel for Valentine's Day specifically only, you got to spend a lot of money on a gift? He's I'm like, bougie. I love Cindy's it. He's like, I need you to throw hundreds. Um, yeah, I throw love hundreds, baby. Um, not necessarily. I think. Okay, a pricey gift or a sentimental gift? Sentimental. Both. Give me both. I like both. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I mean, I, I've never. I mean, it would be nice. I've gone both. Just, I'm not materialist. Why. Okay, mm-hmm. see, I've never gotten. All right, what's, what's the most expensive thing you've gotten gifted? Gifted from a partner. A trip to, well, it's not the most expensive. <laughs> you don't even need to say where you went, right, girl. So. A trip to <laughs> Cancun and um, Playa del oh, wait. Playa, I went to Playa del Carmen, Puerto Vallarta, and then he did take me to San Francisco for my birthday. So, yeah. I love that, but, like, he. Aplausos but, ese compa. <laughs> but not only that, like, he, know, he knew me to the core, so when he did, like, buy me gifts. He knew what? He paid attention yeah. to little things, even though they were a little guys miss that? You think guys miss the yeah, details guys of. guys are not very detail-oriented. Like, you like color red, and I'm going to give you color orange. Yeah, you're not very. Actually, that's throw all. It. Throw it, Aubrey. Throw them. Throw them. No, I'm just going to throw, throw a statistic out there. One of the What's 12, statistic? One we of the love 12 it. men are colorblind. So you won't even, that's why no wonder you guys get us like, not always like. <laughs> I don't, I'm good. I got 20, right, 20 vision. Son pendejos. There's a TikTok sound that's going, <laughs> right? And it's, it says something like this, if I'm correct. It said, hazte pendejo alrededor de la gente que crees que eres pendejo para hacerlos a ellos pendejos. So be stupid around okay. people that think you're stupid and you make them stupid. I was like. Oh, what the fuck? The that, table. <laughs> true, but back to the question. So the sentimental, you said both. What do you think? You Would you get a, would you preference? Wait, I want to add to that, though. Oh, add so to it, please. When Cindy. I say both is like in the beginning of our relationship, he was a lot more stable financially. So he was able to do more and go above and beyond. But yeah. when he hit a point where, you know, he was a little struggling with money, 
he still made an effort um, to at least gift me something, even if it was just flowers. But he went to the flower district, picked them out, picked out like a, a basically a vase, everything just to give it to me. That's so like Donnie because points. I seen him at his best, I also saw him at his worst, and yeah. I appreciated the fact that just the detail, like the he thought, still effort. he put effort, even though it was something simple. I think Ariel said it, chivalry. Yeah. Right. Dead. <laughs> we're we're doing this because again, my I, I'm like, but I I honest I've never had someone. I'm such a giver to friends to like to anybody. But yeah. I mean, we're talking about relationships right now. Like I always give. Like I could be at the store buying something for myself, and I'm like, buy something for them or buy something for me. Like I love to. Give I don't think people. it's dead. It's just we all have different um, love languages, and yes, I think also love it's like a lot of. Um, the person that is for you, you'll experience it. And we've just gone through so many experiences where this person is not for us, so it's showing us, like, yeah. we're not going to experience it until we find that person for that sure. brings some type Cause of Because even, like, before before my relationship, like, I was spending, like, if I had $60 that week, i spend the $60 to get her a gift. You know, this is back in high school. And, I mean, relationship was fucking, we're not even toxic. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But like, you guys want to know the definition of toxic? Yeah, well... That's toxic. You go on the dictionary, and it, sh- it like, says toxic? And Just like type in Dusko. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Anyways. <laughs> so, kidding, when when I started with my partner, uh, what are we, four years now, actually, the first, like, how you said, I'm always a giver, right? And this time, I forgot what my finance was that that month that at that time which i don't think it was really good but she we're we're just starting we barely had like three months into it i'm very sports guy i've never gotten my favorite player is lebron james from he was playing at the cavaliers at that point so she literally she gave me a shirt and she gave me a printout of the tickets to go watch the cleveland cavaliers to the la clippers dude i cried oh, i'm she, like that's what you know she's alive. yeah i cried i'm like <laughs> You're serious? She was like, yeah, like, we're going to go watch them. I'm like, keep in mind, our fancy dinner for, for Valentine's was at, on Arrow Highway in Azusa, and it was a taco spot, fish tacos, because it was, uh, like, good, good Wednesday. Like, you can't eat meat. Fuck, I always ate meat anyway. <laughs> Not that way. No piensen así, güey. Por favor. <laughs> but it was a thought. I was like, bro, like, that's so wild. So when I, we got there, we had good seats. Hey, I just realized that. I forgot that even existed. What? The whole meat meat list? Wow. Oh! <laughs> For a second, I was like, oh, that's a thing. Wow. I mean, I don't really... My mom, like... You don't eat meat. Oh, yeah, that's why yeah. I never yeah. crossed my mind. I was like... Uh, my mom's like, no comas, no comas carne el viernes. I'm like, I just had a burger today. You're like, why are you... What'd you say, mom? Gone, Dude, bro. I was still always Mid-burger. eat. I would always oh, eat Oh, Jesus. So... So, yeah, bringing it back to that point and to now, it's like, all right, like, I feel like now my gifts are random. When I can, I can, and when I see something, I'll get it for her. Or is this like, hey, like, all right, how can we spend our money wisely? Like, now I don't want to go buy you a 2000 Louis Vuitton bag when I know we can use that 2000 3000 bucks to a trip. She loves traveling, so it's like, all right, like, you'll spend two grand in a trip, like, wherever you go, even if you go to... to Maybe not San Diego or anything, but if you go to, to San Francisco, get a nice hotel, do the trips, do the nice dinners, yo, it's going to total up. So bringing it back to the next one, like how we asked it in the last podcast with episode 45. If you haven't, you got to go watch that right now. Great episode with, with the two from House of Gains. But how do you keep the love alive during a long-term relationship? The spice. Trying new things together. Mm. Like, not being afraid to, to venture out. Yeah, I feel like a lot of times, like, even in our own personal lives, but, like, you're so used to routine. Yeah. But, like, forcing yourselves to, like, go out and do something. But I also think what I'm realizing now is when you get into a relationship, but you're not your own person, is where you guys mess up. And so that's what, like, I feel like I'm working on right now is, like, having my own hobbies and... Being, being good in my own solitude because then, 
Like, you're so soaked into just, all you guys know is each other. All you know is, like, coming home to each other. I've been in that position where, like, you live together. So, like, it's, like, work, school, cook, sleep. Yeah. Work, school, you know, because you guys don't know anything else. So, I think it's a two. Two-way it's street. It's a two-way street. You both have to uh, have your to. own hobbies and also yep. be working towards, even if you already have your hobbies, looking for something different. Because if not, like, you guys are just going to go into routine. That's where that's where it dies. I think that's where the spark is not always going to be there, you know? You but it. if you, you guys it. are just on a routine and, like, you guys don't know yourselves as a, as a whole, like, by yourself, yeah, it's going to die because you guys are just going to keep doing the same routine. And then eventually, like, you just, you're just yeah. there. <laughs> Cindy, you look like you got a you got something to oh, say. This is like something I heard on another podcast. Um, it starts way before the relationship even begins. So mm. it's doing the work before, um, because one question that someone asked it was on another podcast. They had to do with dating, and same thing, like understanding that to have your you know you are your own person, and this person coming into your life is just an addition to what you already have and what you already experience. But it, it, the question she asks is, like, if you found the love of your life tomorrow, how would you spend your last day single? Oh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Drop a comment, and you got to answer that for yourself. So if you love your life today, tomorrow, you spend your last day single. How would you spend your last day single? And that will tell you and dictate whether you are, you have done the work to be in a relationship or whether your mindset about how you see it and view a relationship is completely different. So do, do you how, believe... So sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Sure. Yeah, because this is it. a topic change. Oh, okay. So, so not really, but a little bit. So do you believe that when people get in a relationship and then they break up within a month or whatever, they say, oh, it didn't work, it's like, bro, it's because I can't be in a relationship. No, so like, so the way that made sense to me too, it's like, when, you, when I said you're an addition to my life, mean it. So when someone asks you that question, to be honest, it's like if I was to find if I've already done work and I've already experienced life and I've and I've been doing what I've been doing this whole nice. life with or without you. If I find my person tomorrow, I'm going to be doing the same thing I do every day. We actually, it wouldn't change. We actually had this. Con we just had this conversation yeah. about the, the platform that, that we're building and the rate that we're going if someone were to step into your life at that point, like in reality, it, it's tough to see. Sometimes it is tough to see the the intentions of somebody. You don't know if they just want to be around in your life because of what you have and who you're around, or they're just there because they love you or care for you for only you. Everything else is still your life personally, but you're that person for them. So it's just like when you when you have Say we have a million dollars, tomorrow we meet somebody and they come in and they want you to treat them to the best restaurants, the best trips. It's like, bro, like you weren't there when I had zero dollars. Like, how can I treat you that way? And they the day tomorrow you find someone else that has two million and you don't move on and go to them because they got more than me. It's like again, going to the tension intentions of somebody. Like for guys, I mean, I'm sorry guys, but to to be told that when we see when we see a girl that's confident, attractive, you know, there's one main thing that everybody wants, especially if you're at a club, bar, or even a party. Like, there's one main thing, and it's to to get what you get, and then ghost. What is it? You ghost them. All right, well, I'll, I'll call you the next time I need that. And it's like, bro, like, nah, like, I'm too valuable. Like, but it, even when that happens, that tone though. Yeah, like, but even when that happens, I've told people. And what? We're all experiencing life. If you get hurt for every little situation that happens, like, you're never going to grow. You're never going to learn. You're never going to be in, develop into the next level that you need to be. Every situation that happens like that, yeah. we can't go back and say, oh, all men are this. All men are that. All women suck. Like, all women, all they want is my money. And I'm, and in my head is like, you're put into the situations for a reason. You're, it's trying learn. to change the way you think. Learn. And... You can't fall back and hide yourself from experiencing life dating every single time. You can't assume that this person is bad for you. You just have to go with it. The so way, like, we go about life every day, we don't know if we're going to die tomorrow, but we just go with it. So do you think it's it's 
an okay thing if you end one relationship to jump into the next? Like say that is up to the person. Ah, okay. No, because th- th- I've I've done that. Yeah, the reason I'm asking is because I mean, there's other scenarios where, like, you're talking to someone or you're dating someone, and the most strangest things happen. Whatever it is, break it off. You meet someone new within a week, and you're like, bro, like this this dude really cares about me. Like, we're talking now. We're I, f- I fell for him. Like, I want to see where this goes. Is that an issue right now with the society that we're in? Coming from one to the other, not the way I think about it is like, have you really addressed you? Like, have you really cared for you first? I don't. I don't think it's an issue. I think it's more. It depends on the person. It depends on the situation because That's people, like I've been listening to a lot of sermons. People are put into your life for a reason. That person might be there to teach you a lesson to help you get to the next level. They might not be here down the road, but. That they crossed you. The, you needed them. They were put into your life when you most when you needed them the most. Facts. So there's no wrong or right way to date. There's no wrong or right way to do things. A lot of the times, it's just from experience. Like you just have to experience it and go with it. Yeah. Which is how I just said it before camera. Like when you have an ex and then you move on and they tell you like, oh, you're. I've always wanted you to be that person that you are for them. And it's like, bro, like. You are for that new person what the other person was missing, and you had to grow from it. You had to move on. Things happen. Life happens. It's like the person that I love the most at this point hurt me the most. Yet the person that I am with now is the one that loves me for who I am, and I love that person for who she is, and we just compliment each other. Yeah, there are going to be ups and downs. Fuck yeah. Think about it. I don't. There's no fairy tale in this world. Like Everybody looks for the... We look at the Disney movies. We're so con- didn't I yeah. have this conversation? Yeah, with you? we did. We're we so did. conditioned, conditioned since we were like that. little kids. Yeah, to have that to fairy like tale. view this like like we're shooting for this like perfect thing. Yeah, like set up, which goes back to like you're shooting for something so perfect, but where are you at? Yeah, yeah. You can't have this amazing picture if you're not right with yourself. You're yeah. shooting for perfection when we're literally imperfect. We're trying to live all the Disney's mo- all the Disney movies we lived throughout um, growing up. <laughs> we did. Finding the prince charming and it doesn't work like that. That's not. My movie is The Beauty and the Beast. Oh, what do you think I am? The Beauty. <laughs> 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 but no, Too like. Too much tequila. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I can't even say tequila. <laughs> but Too much tequila. No, like it's it's tough and it's sad because what the what the rate of social media is right now, and we see all these big social media personnel that have a happy life that. Now, in the day in the day and the age that we're in, like, obviously, TMZ is hot and social media platforms are hot. Like, they'll find every little thing about it. So, one relationship might be the most amazing, beautiful thing. And then coming to the next thing you know, it's like, bro, like, they're really having issues or they broke up, whatever it is. But we're, how you said earlier, we're so conditioned from little. Like, I think in the girl realm, too, like, go find your husband. Go do whatever you can for your husband. Make him happy. Do Ale lunch a las seis de la mañana para que se vaya a trabajo. Let him be happy. You be there clean. Do the kid. Whatever it is. Yeah. Make Do your role. I think we, not only that, but like that part, but then also being at the age where I'm at now, being rushed to have kids, being rushed to be married, being rushed to already like have it settled down. Where I don't even know, like, I'm still having fun. I'm still traveling, like. Like, I don't even know where the fuck I am still. <laughs> no, yeah, this was one of the things that, like, hit me this weekend. And I knew I was supposed to go to that birthday dinner. I knew, like, Ale's birthday dinner. I was like, I have to go. Like, you know, like, although, like, I'm just going to go for a little bit. And yeah. I had to be there in order to realize, like, I there's no, like, limit to how you need to live life like there's no box that you have to live in um one of the girls well two other girls we were talking about like dating and all stuff she's like yeah i think i'm at a point where i'm ready to settle and i looked at her i was like girl you look like you're young like what do you mean and she asked me how old i was and i told her i'm like oh i'm 28 and she i asked her how old are you she's like i'm 37 but she looked the happiest living life not with the care in the world and i was like i want to live like you without feeling like i have to have kids by this well, age because like that's not that shouldn't be your only goal in life yeah and, and if I, that's what you're chasing it's like you're chasing the wrong thing mm-hmm. yeah like I, you're really chasing the wrong thing i feel like just, we just get influenced cada, to think cada, that uno, way. cada uno tiene que tener tu, su paso like everybody has to have their own step like 
we're going to take one step forward and you might go with the right. I might go with the left. You might go with both feet and jump. Everybody's different. Like we might go at a different time. My reaction time might be one second faster. Yours might be one second slower, two seconds faster. There's never a right time. Like you might be like, I, I think we had Noah Well, she got pregnant by when I was 23 and Bullshit, you're not. I've always said it. By the time I'm 25, I'm going to have a kid. Like, I know, like, that's what I'm, like, that's going to be me. I'm going to have a kid. I'm out of my house. And I'm going to be happy. Obviously, when it happened, like, you, you're fucking burning trash cans. You're like, fuck, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And she thought, like, yo, like, it's over. Like, life is over. Like, we're going to, our parents are going to hate us. I'm like, nah, dude, like, we're just starting. Like, we're going to move out. We're going to get thrown into the fire for ourselves. And we're going to find out who we really are. Little did we know, like, now, four years in, this is my third year moved out. And, yeah, we, obviously, now we have a house. But it's like, I wouldn't have known who I really am until that happened. And it was that person, like, that's how you said, like, when you find that person, it's like, yo, like, all right, I love you. I'm going to have a kid with you (laughs) when we're, we're a little bit more stable. But... It's like there's no, I mean, I'm 26. I know friends that are 27, younger than me that have kids, older than me that have kids. And it's like, yo, like my setup is different because, again, people I have around me, mm-hmm. my ambition, my inspiration, my motivation, that other people don't have the same as, I, as me. Yet, like I was talking to one of the dudes yesterday. He was just like, yo, like you have kids? I'm like, yeah, man, two. He was like. Really? What else are you doing? I'm like, yeah, da, da, da. I do it all. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, dude, that's so crazy. How do you do it? I'm like, bro, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Barely. To see, that's crazy. Like, you already knew. I knew that it. I, I feel like a lot of us, like, for me, when they used to ask me, I never had an answer. And I was like, when I'm older, when I have to, to the point where, like, I cannot, like, I'm getting close to the age where I cannot have kids. Like, yeah. I want to delay it as much as possible because yeah. I want to live life. Like, I generally, I don't want to live how my parents live. And that's not just that you can't live life with kids but yes but no so yes and no financially right now no that's, that's what I'm saying. and everybody's there's no way. and everybody's different is what yeah. i mean like yeah. you know it's, we it's tough like for never going i think it. we see the happiness we see like through it through social media we, you know you're living a happy life oh, you still yeah. travel yeah but in reality will i be able to travel with kids, stress free, stress free. Uh, will I be able to do the things that I'm doing now? Like pictures things are will so, change. Pictures are so nice, but behind that scene, I had a crying baby for three hours, and, and I had someone really tell me, "Oh, you should do this." I'm like, "Lady, this ain't your kid. I'm doing what I know what to do with my kid, and it ain't working." Yeah. Oh, and, okay. I'm sorry. I'm like, stay in your lane. I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> mad and stuff. Yeah, but. I just, like for me, it's like it's kind of like, kind of like what you said. It's not that you can't live life. It's just I know how I want to live my life. Yeah, in a sense every, where I can't like everybody has their own. I name. know, the str- like even to this day, I still think like, do I really want to? I didn't want to have kids before in my last I relationship. Don't. I didn't want to have kids ever. And I'm if still, I did, I'm still in that mindset. I mean, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna have them. Yeah, but that's not my marriage and kids is not mm, my. I never saw our kids in my future. Which is the crazy part. I'm just like, I'm a kid still. And like, we want to, like, for me, I'm speaking for myself. Like, I cannot picture myself wanting kids and not even knowing how to heal from my own childhood. Yeah. You know, like. Replicate, not replicate the cycle. I need to break that cycle and learn, like, how to heal myself and then have kids. Because I said it in my last podcast, like, we, our parents didn't know any better. Which is why so many of us are, like, messed up. So think about this next question. I'm sorry to cut you off, but I want you to feed off this. So when you have kids, do you want them to go through the same shit you went through? No, or do you no. want to give them that head start? I hate when people, Absolutely yeah. Absolutely no, not. No, I hate when people say, like, why well, I went through it, so, like, my kids They got to go through it, too. No, no. Like, hell no. I will be that person. Like, my kids will say, like, yeah, my mommy gave it to me. I want my kids to say that. Like, I, and my I used, parents helped me start this business. I used Hell to, yeah, yeah I kids. used to look at, like, like I want to be there. I used to look at rich kids, and I used to be like, oh, it's daddy, mommy and daddy money. Now I look at it, and I'm like, they're blessed to have mommy and daddy Like, money. yesterday at that, the show, $200,000 Mercedes. 
There's some young cats oh, just yeah, driving. Yeah, the Kermit. Yeah, like young Porsche ass kids. Like, they, like one thing I told myself, if I don't end up having kids, I'll adopt. But the one thing I always want to teach them is like, I'm still going to teach them like the rules of finance, like how For to sure. do this, how to do that. Yeah. But will I spoil you? Of course. I never really got that as a child. So of course I'm going to fucking spoil you. You want to start this business yeah. instead of going to school? Hell yeah. Do that instead. I like said, I'll support it. And that, that's where we something. have to work on ourselves to be able to say, to be able to give our kids that stuff. And we're not putting in the work. Like we're going to just continue the cycle. I've, I've said like, the same thing. If the day tomorrow, you know, my kid tells me, yo, dad, I want to do this. All right, son, I'm going to give you that support. Let's do it. I hope it works out. Do everything possible. If Let it work out. And if it don't, Reason being, like, how we said, our parents come from different age. Like, they had to make it. They literally had to make it. And this saying that I've heard, I've heard it, and it, it comes into my life for a certain reason, but it was, like, tough times make tough people. Tough people make easier times. Easier times make weak people. Then the cycle starts all over again. Those weak people go through tough times. Once you're done, you, go, you get tough, tough personnel. So it's just like, yeah, like my dad went through a tough time, created a tough, tough guy, tough love, created opportunity for me, and now I'm going to give it to my son. Now, I don't want my son to be shunned away from life. I want to show him the good and the bad. Yo, this is going to happen if you don't do this. Like, if you do this, this might be the result. Mm -hmm. I don't know the result. You might have a different outcome, but I'm going to tell you from my experience, yo, this is what happened to me. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta let them know the struggle, not put them mm -hmm. through it, but let them know. Yeah, if you guys locked to up, a you better stay extent, in there. You have to let them sink on their own. Like, yeah. be right there watching them, but just let, like, let them even, know that there's consequences. Even if, yeah. even if you tell him he's gonna sink, nah, I don't. I'm not gonna, him, he's still gonna do it, right? Experience it, yeah. Because I mean, we only learn from experiences, and even though I'm helping you, like let's say I was helping you open a business, a little portion I'll help you, but you figure out the do rest. Your part. Yeah, do your part. Yeah, too. Like literally, my dad's. Set us up with X amount of money for, for the house. He was like, yo, pay me back when you can. My plan is when value goes up just a little bit more than what it is now because it's booming, market is booming, sell it, get that money, double his investment, get my money, move into someone different, do it. Do it. Now, instead of him helping me, I'm already set up to do it myself, so on and so forth, investing. Yo, real estate, insane. We'll get, that's a different podcast, but... You know, you're use he went through his struggles to set up his kids. And that just goes to show you gotta help your kids so that they can help you after you. I don't think a lot of parents understand that. Like, you gotta help me out. You know, if you don't help me out, like I can't help you out. Mm -hmm. You gotta teach your kids to be successful so that when you can't work, when you can't do it for yourself, you get sick. Your kids are smart enough to pick up the slack. You know, like I don't wanna I mean it sounds bad, but like why not why have kids, but it's like it, how much of a disappointment is it to have kids and them be nothing? It's like you're not even, like, the same way we practice being a team. I think it should be a team when you're a family. Like, you work together. You work. You stick through it. I got you. You got me. But you yeah. got to help your people. Help your people grow. I love these Q&As. <laughs> these Q&As go by really fast. So, again, this we're going to do this hopefully weekly. If, unfortunately, we can't get a uh, new guest on, you know, we love to interact with our with our uh, viewers, with our followers, subscribers. If for whatever reason you guys have any sort of question, topic you guys Anything. want us, you guys want us to address. Again, you're getting the male version, the female version, and then the entrepreneur, motivational mindset that we all have. And if, as you heard here, there's three different sides to it all. So again, please share this podcast. We appreciate everybody tuning in so far, and you. Be ready for the next episode because it's going to go wild. It's going to get interesting. Let's go. Oh.